this is a short instructional video for Spirit OCT users on how to acquire retina and glaucoma scans. The patient should be seated at the Spirit OCT instrument and the headrest cleaned in accordance with local infection control policy. The patient information should be entered into the Heidelberg Eye Explorer software Select the Order tab and choose the Glaucoma OU work order and then click Save. Click the Refresh button and then select the Retina OU work order, Save and refresh the window. Ensure that the Glaucoma work order is highlighted before starting image acquisition. The table height and chin rest position should be adjusted to ensure a comfortable patient position. The outer canthus of the eye should align with the marker on the headrest. The patient should be instructed to look at the blue fixation target which is in the shape of a cross. Once the patient is positioned comfortably, press Start Scan to begin acquiring images. The eye data fields can be populated with information from the autorefractor keratometer or entered manually by the operator. The fundus image is aligned by sliding the camera head forward, keeping the reflex from the patient's pupil central. The fundus image should be evenly illuminated from edge to edge, checked for sharp focus and adjusted accordingly. The software will provide visual guidance to indicate correct positioning of the camera. The patient should be encouraged to blink normally throughout the examination. The axial length of the scan can be adjusted to reflect eye length and refractive error. This is of particular value when scanning patients with high degrees of hyperopia or myopia. When the OCT image is positioned correctly in the right-hand window, start the foveal detection with a single press of the joystick button. Start BMO detection with a second press of the joystick button. The circular glaucoma RNFL scan will appear in the acquisition window. The circle color will change from red to blue and the image can be acquired with a final press of the joystick button. You should maintain the camera position until the scan has been completed. Now move the camera head to align with the left eye and repeat the procedure for image capture. Press Escape. The eye data window will appear once more. Press Enter to continue to the retina examination. Once again, align the fundus image until evenly illuminated and the scan pattern has changed from red to blue. Begin image acquisition with a single press of the joystick button. The position of the scan should be monitored throughout the image acquisition process and adjusted for correct position by using forward or backward movement of the joystick. Move the camera head to align with the fellow eye and repeat the scan procedure. Once the scan is complete, press Escape to exit the image acquisition window. 
patient should be instructed to relax and sit back from the instrument. To perform a follow-up examination, select the patient in the Heidelberg Eye Explorer software. Create a new work order, selecting glaucoma first and retina second. Refresh the Heidelberg Eye Explorer window and ensure that the glaucoma work order is selected before starting the scan. Line the fundus image once more. The initial anatomic positioning scans of fovea and BMO will this time not be required as this information is already stored in the patient record. When the circle scan has changed from red to blue and is correctly positioned, acquire the image with a single press of the joystick button. Move the camera head to the fellow eye and immediately repeat the procedure. Press escape and continue to the retina examination. Acquire the images as previously instructed. For further information on acquiring images or using the Heidelberg Eye Explorer software, please refer to your Spirit user guide.